Ladies and gentlemen, could you kindly take your seats, please, as we expect Senior Minister to enter the hall anytime now. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, kindly rise. Announcing the arrival of Yang Berhormat, Datuk Sri Muhammad Azmin Ali, Senior Minister and Minister of International Trade and Industry, Malaysia. Kindly remain standing for our national anthem, Negara Ku. Esteemed guests and members of the media, kindly take your seats, please. I now invite Mr. Muhammad Irfian Johari from Maida to recite the Doa. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In the name of Allah, the Most Gracious, the Most Merciful. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Allahumma salli wa sallim ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in All praise and glory are due to the Almighty Allah Lord of the worlds, the creator of the universe May Allah's blessings and mercy be upon his Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam his families, companions and followers it is with your mercy and blessings that we are able to gather here today on this auspicious day for the Malaysian Investment Development Authority's Annual Media Conference 2022. We seek your blessings to be upon this event and our continuous journey in making Malaysia a competitive and resilient nation, a country of peace, stability and prosperity. O oh Allah, we submit to you and pray that you continue to bestow good health, wisdom, and strength on our leaders, as well as on all of us, so that our efforts to achieve our national objectives will be fruitful. With your compassion and mercy in blessing us with the knowledge and ability, together we commit to propel the nation to attain excellence and continue to ensure Malaysia as a preferred investment destination in the region. O oh Allah, we pray that you will raise our faith to the level of the most perfect faith and that you will elevate our conviction to the height of the most magnificent conviction 
make our intentions the best they can be and our actions the best they can be for the people, society and the nation. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fil akhirati hasana tawakina adhab al-nar wa sallallahu ala sayyidina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Thank you, Mr. Muhammad Irfian Johari. Salam sejahtera and good afternoon. Yang berhormat Datuk Sri Muhammad Azmin Ali, Senior Minister and Minister of International Trade and Industry Malaysia, MITI. Yang berhormat Datuk Lim Ban Hong, Deputy Minister of MITI. Yang berbahagia Datuk Arham Abdul Rahman, Chief Executive Officer, MAIDA. Board members of MAIDA, Deputy CEOs of MAIDA, Executive Directors and Directors of MAIDA, members of the media, those present here at Padana Hall, and for those of you joining us virtually, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to welcome all of you this afternoon. Thank you for joining us here at Padana Hall. And for those virtually joining us for the annual media conference 2022, with the theme, Powering Resilience. The year 2021 was a very challenging year. COVID-19 has had a profound impact, causing social and economic disruptions worldwide. And it continues to do so. Malaysia was not spared. The Malaysian government, through MITI and MAIDA, has been doubling its efforts and continues to remain committed in its endeavor to pave the way towards sustainable economic recovery while ensuring Malaysia remains on the right trajectory as an attractive investment destination. This year's theme, Powering Resilience, is very relevant as Malaysia continues to navigate through the ongoing pandemic and is powered through various measures, strategic collaborations and agile policies that are put in place to enhance the resilience of the Malaysian economy. Today's annual media conference is MIDA's flagship event to announce Malaysia's investment performance across the manufacturing, services, and primary sectors. Without further ado, it is my pleasure to now call upon Yang Berbahagia Dato Arham Abdul Rahman, Chief Executive Officer of MIDA, to commence the event with his welcome remarks. Dipersilakan, Dato. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Yang berhormat, Datuk Sri Muhammad Azmin Ali, Senior Minister and Minister of International Trade and Industry. Yang berhormat, Senator Datuk Lim Ban Hong, Deputy Minister of International Trade and Industry. Yang bahagia Datuk Baria, Deputy Secretary General of MITI. Your Excellencies, Ambassadors and High Commissioners, Members of the Media, Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen, Assalamualaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh. Selamat sejahtera and a very good afternoon to all of you. Welcome to the MIDAS Annual Media Conference or AMC 2022. I thank you for taking the time to join us here in MIDA, Padana Hall, physically and virtually. Today's event comes at a time when cooperation and collaboration to boost investment is more crucial than ever in conjunction with MIDAS uh, than ever. In conjunction with MIDAS 55th anniversary, anniversary this year, I am delighted that such a unique opportunity has transpired for us to gather and witness Malaysia's 2021 investment performance report that will be delivered by Senior Minister Yang Bahormat Datuk Sri Muhammad Azbin Ali shortly. This year's AMC team is powering resilience. This aligns with our National Investment Aspiration or NIA framework 
which aims to reinvigorate the national investment landscape and enhance long-term national competitiveness. We regard last year's investment performance to, to the synergized cooperation between ministries, agencies, partners, and stakeholders who have consistently positioned Malaysia as a reliable and leading investment destination in the region. Our advances are derived from a common goal to promoting economic growth, socio-economic stability, talent development, and long-term economic inclusivity and sustainability. Ladies and gentlemen, as we journey through the COVID-19 pandemic, we all hope to resume our lives safely and at national level, economic recovery is paramount to nation building and continuity plan. As the government's principal investment promotion agency, MAIDA, continued to position Malaysia as an inclusive hub to secure strategic global investments and enable companies and businesses to operate well. We implemented several measures to ease the challenges of doing business in the country while encouraging and facilitating companies' adoption of technology, innovation, and R&D activi activities. With the support from MITI, MAIDA implemented various outreach programs to channel business support and facilitation services for potential investors who intend to establish their businesses and operations hub in our country. Our global and regional representatives conducted various trade and investment missions, dialogue sessions and field visits, targeting high-value projects to build a more resilient and inclusive Malaysian economy. MAIDA organized extensive series of webinars to communicate our aspiration to a global business audience and attract strategic foreign direct investment. MAIDA entered into 20 memorandum of understandings with organizations who align with our efforts and shared a similar vision. Such partnerships further promoted and facilitated potential investment and business cooperation. These opportunities gave us new advances to drive Malaysia's economic recovery and our business ecosystem. Yang berhormat Datuk Sri, ladies and gentlemen, the government has implemented various initiatives to ease doing business for investors besides helping industry players to adopt and adapt Industry 4.0 technologies to simplify business processes. MIDAS digital transformation measures include launching the Enterprise Transformation System or eTrans that brought forth the idea of an online business portal, namely Invest Malaysia, an integrated system that expedites applications and approval processes, processes to allow companies to speed up project implementation. Ladies and gentlemen, the 12th Malaysia Plan has unveiled Malaysia's long-term strategies to restore its economic prospects and resilience. In line with this, MAIDA has revamped its outreach programs, business and facilitation processes to further increase the efficiency of our values and services and to help MIDA operate at a greater level for the nation's best interests. To ensure Malaysia remains an attractive investment destination, the government has rolled out strategic frameworks that prioritize new areas with potential growth opportunities that focus on sustainability and new technologies to strengthen our economy. This framework includes My Digital, National Force Industrial Revolution or 4IR policy and SME stimulus packages. MAIDA will continue to embark on trade investment missions and specific project missions to keep up the momentum gained in 2021. Our overseas, our overseas offices have catered to more than 200 investment-related programs throughout 2022 to maximize the sharing of potential investors on Malaysia's unique value proposition as an investment destination. 
To transform Malaysia into a supply chain hub in Asia, we aspire to entice new high-value investment in the technology sector, accelerate digital readiness to innovate our service and commercial products, extend domestic linkages, and build new bilateral and trade relations to ensure Malaysia remain as an ideal destination to Fortune 500 companies and emerging unicorn. Our economic recovery is work in progress, but we have reaffirmed our commitment and aspiration to strengthen our beloved nation's economy. Apart from achieving commercial growth, we are focused on attracting more high-quality and sustainable investment to create social impact. Hence, we are expanding our presence into new high-value clusters to bring new values to highlight our competitive edge to global economic leaders and investors. To conclude, we are confident and assured that our joint efforts and adoption of the right policies and measures will help us realize our ambition and aspirations. On that note, without further ado, it is, it is with great honor that I now invite Yang Berhormat Datuk Sri Muhammad Azmin bin Ali to announce Malaysia's investment performance for 2021. Let's give Yang Berhormat Datuk Sri a big hand. Thank you. Terima kasih. Yang Berhormat Senator Datuk Lim Ban Hong, Deputy Minister of International Trade and Industry. Your Excellencies, Ambassadors and High Commissioners. Yang berbahagia Datuk Baria Muhammad Tamil, Deputy Secretary General. Yang berusaha Datuk Arham Abdul Rahman, Chief Executive Office of Maida. Members of the media, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh. Selamat petang and a very good afternoon. First and foremost, I would like to express my profound appreciation for the unwavering commitment and support towards the efforts of the government in driving strategic investment and trade in the country. The year 2021 saw the continuation of the disruptions caused by the COVID-19 pandemic, impacting our lives and livelihoods, resulting in the unintended economic consequences of our measures in combating the crisis. While the pandemic has highlighted vulnerabilities of the global economy, exposing the chink in the armour of global supply chains, it has also underscored the reality of the interdependence of nations in international trade and investments. As economies across the world went into a tailspin, undermining traditional modes of commerce and trade, the law of survival prevailed, pushing companies to rethink their business models and find innovative ways to continue conducting their activities. And just as no man is an island, no economy can survive by itself, let alone prosper. Hence, in responding to the forces of circumstance, the world has taken a quantum leap in digital adoption. Innovative technologies and automation, transforming economies to embrace new ways of doing things in driving sustainable economic recovery and growth. In this regard, the team of Powering Resilience for this annual media conference is apt given the journey of resiliency navigating through the unprecedented crisis, overcoming challenges and owning successes. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Indeed, economic recovery is neither static nor absolute. The hard work and proactive efforts implemented are the product of dynamic and strategic measures put in place to ensure that Malaysia remains a preferred investment and trading hub. Our robust business ecosystem has enabled us to secure strategic investments and forge new trade relationships, placing us on a positive trajectory to propel our economy to greater heights as well as expedite efforts towards inclusive socio-economic growth. The easing of pandemic containment measures has allowed us for the resumption of economic activities coupled with high vaccination rates among diverse industries and professionals. Further efforts were put in place to ensure that the business ecosystem remains responsive to global trends with policies and initiatives for business facilitation, talent upskilling and reskilling, digitalization and automation. In a nutshell, these measures have successfully placed our economy on a firm and resilient footing towards the path of vibrant growth and sustainable recovery. Inshallah, later this afternoon, the government will make a major announcement about the reopening of our borders. Let me now highlight some of the major efforts done by METI. To begin with, in ensuring the safety of manufacturing workers, a public-private partnership immunization program, PICAS, was rolled out which has inoculated more than 1.8 million employees in the manufacturing sector. This has enabled businesses to continue operating in a safe manner while preserving jobs. In driving investments into the economy, MIDA has spearheaded the OSC to facilitate the movement of short-term business travellers during the pandemic while adhering to strict SOPs. In addition, the Digital Investment Office, DIO, a collaborative platform between MIDA and MDEC to facilitate digital investments into Malaysia. This was further supported with the Project Acceleration and Coordination Unit, or PACHU, which ensures end-to-end -end facilitation to all approved projects in the country, enabling speedy and efficient implementation. MIDA also took a holistic view in ensuring a robust business ecosystem with programs targeted towards talent development through High Talent Program, a synergized effort between three premier local universities that offer upskilling and reskilling programs to local graduates and talented individuals. At this juncture, Malaysia's sustainable economic recovery is right on target with the latest Bank Nagara report showing our full year GDP growth of 3.1% in 2021. World Bank has projected Malaysia's economy to be bullish and to expand by 5.8% for 2022. In its Global Opportunities Index 2022, Milken Institute ranked Malaysia as the most, most attractive destination for FDI among emerging economies. Malaysia is also ranked third most innovative upper-middle income economy by World Intellectual Property Organization and 25th on IMD's World Competitiveness Yearbook 2021, attesting to Malaysia's capabilities to attract strategic and quality investments. Indeed, this is a brag sheet we can be proud of. But to me, what is even more important, perhaps fundamentally significant, is the fact that our capability to achieve these successes reflects the confidence of investors in our agile and thriving business ecosystem. 
In this vein, I would like to thank Dr. Arham and the entire team in Maida who have tirelessly worked and made this happen. Congratulations to Maida. On that note, it is with great pride for me to announce that Malaysia has successfully achieved 306.5 billion ringgit Malaysia of approved investments in 2021 for the manufacturing, services and primary sectors, charting an astounding 83.1% increase compared to the performance in 2020. This is a record-breaking figure as it is the highest approved investments ever. Total approved FDI also saw a massive jump of 224.9% to 208.6 billion ringgit in 2021. These significant investments are from notable foreign sources where the top five FDI sources are from the Netherlands, Singapore, China, Austria, and Japan. Without a doubt, Malaysia continues to support domestic players, with DDI performance recorded at 97.9 billion ringgit, signifying growing local industry players' capabilities and business capacity to be highly competitive in the global stage. From the sectoral perspective, the manufacturing sector secured 195.1 billion ringgit investments in 2021, compared to 91.3 billion ringgit in 2020, a major increase of 113.7%. These achievements are expected to provide over 70,000 high skill job opportunities. The ENE industry tops this sector, attracting 94 projects worth 148 billion ringgit. Malaysia also attracted major investments in basic metal products, chemicals and chemical products, rubber products, and food manufacturing. The manufacturing sector continues to be the mainstay of the economy for 2021 generating significant multiply effects on the nation's activities and growth. The percentage of quality projects approved increased to 81.3% in 2021. The capital intensity of our approved projects increased 129.8% in 2021 compared to 1.14 million ringgit in 2020. The number of job opportunities in managerial, technical and supervisory positions also increased to 38.5% in 2021. As part of the realization of the Shared Prosperity Vision 2030, it is notable that in 2021, we secured a total of 80.7 billion ringgit worth of approved investments for less developed areas. The government will redouble efforts in driving these investments, which to date have yielded major successes. These include ATNS, 8.5 billion ringgit investment in IC substrates in Kulim Kedah, as well as SK Nexilis, 4.29 billion ringgit investment in thin copper fall manufacturing in Sabah. Other notable investments secured in the manufacturing sector include Infineon Technologies' investment of 3.25 billion ringgit for its Malacca plant, Shenglong Aqua Technology investment of 3.03 billion ringgit to produce aquaculture feed, Ibidin Electronics multi-layer printed circuit board PCB expansion worth 886 million ringgit, and Tayo Yudens. 680 million ringgit investment 
into expanding their multi-layer ceramic capacitors manufacturing facility in Sarawak. Ladies and gentlemen, the COVID-19 pandemic has accelerated digital adoption, particularly for the services sector, to continue operating, boost operational efficiency, and move up the value chain. In 2021, Malaysia secured 94.1 billion ringgit in approved investments for the services sector. The DDI brought 69.2 billion ringgit in 2021 compared to 63.5 billion ringgit in 2020 for this sector. This performance underscores the inherent strength of Malaysia's services companies that could be leveraged further for export of services. In particular, through the innovation of Internet of Things, artificial intelligence and the cloud network, the services sector has been redefined, having gained recognition as a major growth sector for the global economy. In this regard, the Malaysia Digital Economy Blueprint, or My Digital, was formulated to drive the national transformation in line with the evolution of the global investment landscape towards digitalization and Industry 4.0 creating unique and interesting value propositions for digital projects. Ladies and gentlemen, climate action is now driving economic policies, which therefore drives the new industrial and growth strategy to go green. The call for decisive and immediate action to address the environmental crisis at the COP26 underscores the role of nations in driving decarbonisation. As put forth in the 12th Malaysia Plan, focus is also given to strategic investment towards realising the aspiration of becoming a net zero carbon nation. With regard to the primary sector, approved investments of 17.3 billion ringgit were registered in 2021. The mining industry witnessed approved investments worth 17.1 billion ringgit, representing 98.7% of the overall total investments driven by higher prices for crude oil and natural gas. The rest of the investment was secured in the plantation and commodities and the agriculture subsectors worth 211.4 million ringgit and 20.5 million ringgit respectively. Ladies and gentlemen, while these achievements have placed Malaysia on the right track, nevertheless, it would be naive to assume that the voyage ahead will be plain sailing. As trading nations, we continue to be impacted by the dynamics of geopolitical and geoeconomic factors as well as the continuing COVID-19 pandemic. Hence, it stands to reason to expect a wide spectrum of uncertainties and potential headwinds coming our way, with global supply chain disruptions, spikes in commodity prices, as well as inflation. Be that as it may, Malaysia continues to forge ahead powering resilience through robust policies that will further enhance the positive trajectory we are in. The national investment aspirations is poised to attract high-impact investments in new growth areas which bring about bountiful spillover effects to the economy. On that note, the new Industrial Master Plan 2022-2033 will further propel the local industries to accelerate digitalization efforts and enable us to fully realize the benefits of transition into Industry 4.0. Moving forward, I'm delighted to share that MIDA has already secured 352 projects in the pipeline with proposed investments of 39.2 billion ringgit for the manufacturing and services sectors. 
These projects will create more than 19,000 new job opportunities for the Rakyat. It is my fervent hope that our beloved nation will continue to be bestowed with vibrant growth, greater wealth, and sustainable recovery towards socio-economic justice and shared prosperity for the people. Thank you. Thank you, Yang Bahormat Dato Sri. Could we ask you to remain standing and to kindly move to the center of the stage, please? I now would like to invite Yang Bahormat Dato Lim and Yang Berbahagia Dato Arham to join Yang Bahormat Dato Sri Azmin Ali for the launching, please. For the launch, we invite Yang Bahormat Dato Sri to place his palm onto the iPad to activate the countdown video. This will be followed by a launch video of the Investment Performance Report 2021. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to now invite Yang Bahormat Dato Sri Azmin Ali to launch Malaysia's Investment Performance Report 2021. Yang Bahormat Dato Sri, at your cue, please. Ladies and gentlemen, could we have another round of an applause, please? <laughs> Photographers and camera personnel, please come forward. Here's an opportunity to capture the presentation of the Malaysia Investment Performance Report 2021. You don't want to miss this. However, a gentle reminder to please continue observing the SOPs. Now, I would like to invite Yang Berbahagia Dato Arham to present a copy of the Investment Performance Report 2021 to Yang Bahormat Dato Sri Azmin. And to also present a copy of the Investment Performance Report to Yang Bahormat Dato Lim. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Malaysia has successfully recorded 306.5 billion ringgit in approved investments for 2021. <laughs> Truly a stellar performance. This achievement earmarks investors' confidence in Malaysia. Congratulations. Could we have another round of an applause, please? Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Could you kindly take your seats, please? Ladies and gentlemen, we will now proceed with the second part of our program, the press conference. On that note, I now invite all our guests here at the Padana Hall to adjourn for refreshments at the Banquet Hall, located just next to the Padana Hall. Please enjoy the scrumptious spread. For all our virtual guests, please continue to stay tuned as you enjoy a highlight video before we come back shortly.
Welcome to Malaysia. Vibrant, dynamic, progressive. Strategically located in the heart of Southeast Asia, Malaysia is your go-to destination for investment with a robust talent pool, state-of-the-art infrastructure and business-friendly policies. Malaysia's economic landscape is complemented by a thriving ecosystem. Investors benefit from Malaysia's world-class infrastructure, which provides excellent connectivity. Malaysia has been home and a strategic hub for the BMW Group in Southeast Asia since 2003. The strategic location of Malaysia, its infrastructure, the access to logistic needs and skilled employment makes it home for the BMW Group in the region. The prioritization of education and training creates a highly skilled and knowledgeable workforce, ensuring industry-ready talents. Malaysia is one of Intel's most comprehensive sites with close to 11,000 talented employees. We are Intel's largest assembly and test manufacturing facility with an all-Malaysian workforce in manufacturing. This site is also home to the country's largest design and development center and it is one of only two Intel shared services hubs supporting all sites worldwide. In 2012, CTRM has established the Aero Composite Training Center to enhance our human capital development activities. We have collaborated with Ministry of Human Resource to develop the National Occupational Skills Standard in Aerospace Composite Manufacturing Modules. Together with DRB Hycom University, we have established the Diploma and Degree Programs in Aero Composite Manufacturing Technology. Malaysia is known for its mature and integrated ecosystems developed over decades and is a preferred location for leading technology industries. Offering a holistic plug-and-play approach to commerce, companies are supported by a comprehensive and efficient domestic supply chain, reducing in-house needs and the cost of doing business. Tore has been in Malaysia since early 70s. The integrated ecosystem and support from the government, especially MIDA, have contributed to Tore's continuous growth in Malaysia. Today, we are highly diversified with many, many factories and multiple operations in Penang, Pahang and Johor. By optimizing smart manufacturing to streamline the making of goods, Malaysia is embracing the fourth industrial revolution. Elevated industry productivity and accelerated innovation capabilities are transforming Malaysia into a premier solutions provider for advanced technologies. Malaysia's free trade agreements offer companies access to a market of more than 4 billion people globally. This market access presents tremendous opportunities for companies to expand their commercial reach while boosting competitive advantage and driving financial growth. Ranked among the top emerging markets for investment and recognized for its protection of investors, as well as its responsiveness to facilitating business needs, Malaysia is the offshore base from which your company can prosper. The country has a rich cultural heritage which comprises a multitude of fascinating traditions, while its modern living standards promote the well-being of all who call Malaysia home. Your investment journey in Malaysia begins in partnership with the Malaysian Investment Development Authority, MIDA. With over 50 years of experience working with international companies, MIDA has a proven track record of attracting foreign investment and developing domestic investment. MIDA provides expert hand-holding to investors, guiding you every step of the way, from inquiry to realization. A future-ready hub in Asia, the world's fastest growing economic region, Malaysia is your key to unlocking the world. Malaysia, your profit center in Asia.
Malaysia has surpassed the test of metal despite a very challenging and volatile economic environment. The country has also demonstrated a robust and successful response to the COVID-19 pandemic and economic resilience to boost investors' confidence in the country. The country's strategic and balanced approach towards management of the economy and public health are instrumental to the stellar investment performance for 2021. As the principal investment promotion agency in the country, MIDA is resolute and optimistic in advancing the government's commitment to attract quality and sustainable investments for 2022. Driven by the National Investment Aspirations NIA, we have implemented proactive and transformative initiatives to accelerate innovation and expansion, extend domestic linkages, create new job opportunities and improve inclusivity in socio-economic diversity. MIDA strives to dedicate our resources in realizing the country's aspirations of becoming a prosperous and developed nation. Malaysia is strengthening its position as a competitive investment destination for global players in a multitude of fields. In our efforts to serve investors better, MIDA provides game-changing initiatives that support investments, namely our one-stop center for short-term business travelers during pandemic, the Digital Investment Office or DIO with MDEC to promote digital investment, Invest Malaysia Digital Platform for all MIDA applications and the establishment of the Project Acceleration and Coordination Unit or PACHU in MIDA to ensure speedy implementation of approved projects. MIDA is focused on rebuilding Malaysia's economic recovery, which is the prime focus for the government. Hence, we have adopted a holistic approach to reinvigorate the investment ecosystem. This is to ensure we can respond well to emerging trends and market movements, as well as supporting the needs of our investors and stakeholders. To serve our investors and partners better, we have aligned our strategies with the Shared Prosperity Vision 2030 and the 12 Malaysia Plan. The strategies in place aim to secure new investments that resonates with the national investment aspirations and United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. We hope to propel Malaysia's long-term growth through sustainable quality investments from targeted industries, namely the electrical and electronics, global services, aerospace, creative industry, tourism, halal, smart farming and biomass. MIDA is an active voice in Malaysia's investment-related policies. Alongside other initiatives, 
the national investment aspirations, the 10 years new industrial master plan or NIMP, and the national 4RR policy have already set in motion a transformative journey for the country. The confidence we have is that we at MIDA play a key role in providing critical insights that shape the future of Malaysia's investment landscape. MIDA aims to facilitate the would-be investors of tomorrow. We see a future where investing in Malaysia is no different than our own investors' own backyards. A digital Malaysia with a global outreach backed by our Project Acceleration and Coordination Unit PACHU that makes the process of materialising high-valued investments almost as smooth and easy as a push of a button. Never take a back seat has been a corporate culture of MIDA. Tested and tried by challenges, both domestically and globally, MIDA continues to be a catalytic organisation that connects our stakeholders to opportunities and power solutions to support the economic development in Malaysia. The hands that empowered MIDA belong to men and women who always went beyond their call of duty to fly Malaysia's flag high. In 2021, our challenges have been many, but as one, we have come together to make the changes that are necessary to build an inclusive organisation that invests in our people and prepares a resilient workforce. MIDA as the national IPA of the country wears two hats when it comes to policy advocacy. Firstly, supporting the national agenda of the country towards creating a prosperous, inclusive and sustainable Malaysia. And secondly, servicing our investors' needs by enabling them to operate in a sound policy environment. Throughout the year 2021, several policy measures towards powering resilience, not just for our investors, but also to strengthen the Malaysia's position as the preferred investment destination amidst the COVID-19 pandemic challenges. Among key policies introduced for the services sector include relaxation of incentive conditions, attractive incentive schemes to attract high-value services such as Principal Hub 3.0, Global Trading Center, Digital Ecosystem Acceleration or DSAC and the establishment of the Digital Investment Office as a single point of contact for digital investments. Implementation of these policies, complemented by strong promotion and facilitation, have certainly bear fruitation. Beyond 2021, MIDA will continue to support the economic recovery agenda of the country by attracting modern services such as global services and digital investments, a catalyst to accelerate Malaysia's transition to become a high-income nation has envisioned in the 12th Malaysia Plan. Priority will also be given on investments with ESG elements, 
in line with the national investment aspirations. MIDA and its stakeholders within the country's thriving investment ecosystem remain focused in attracting high-quality investments from foreign and domestic companies into Malaysia through various investment strategies and policy initiatives and its challenges to support the sustainable development agenda of the nation. We have lined up targeted trade and investment missions and specific project missions to attract investment in high technology, innovation and research-driven industries that will complement the Malaysian industrial ecosystem. We have also been actively engaging with our industry partners to organise regional and state investment forums, SME engagements and supply chain programmes. 2022 will be another challenging year for corporates around the world that will shape their overseas strategic investment plans. But we will remain focused in assisting the positive growth of the nation, providing our countrymen with high-income job opportunities while creating tremendous business potentials to local companies in scaling up the global supply chain. God willing, we shall beat the odds together once again. The manufacturing non-resource industries like the electrical and electronics or E&E &E, and machinery equipment or M&E &E, have been earmarked to enable further downstream and upstream growth in sectors. The E&E &E industry has been the backbone of Malaysia's economy, moving up progressively in the value chain, growing, adopting new technologies and embracing the government's push for Industry 4.0 with clear growth paths charted under the National Investment Aspiration or NIA and the new Industrial Master Plan 2030 that can keep growing export values and creating job opportunities locally. The FNE is another catalytic subsector under the 12th Malaysia Plan. This industry cuts across linkages with all economic segments such as the primary, manufacturing and services sector offering more diversification opportunities for the local economy. MIDA is committed in its efforts to attract high-value projects in these fields for 2022. pandemic has taught us many lessons. Among the lessons that certainly feature prominently are the accelerated pace of digitalization and the need to balance growth with the broader sustainability agenda. Hence, in crafting the future of the resource-based sector, the Government of Malaysia welcomes quality resource-based investments which adapt and adopt circular economy models that have strong environmental, social and corporate governance focus as it will ensure the long-term sustainability of our industries. The government, through MIDA, provides the necessary facilitation and support in strengthening the ecosystem in the country with current elements such as green economy, 
circular economy, aligning with industry forward and future industry, which will create new investments and high-value job opportunities for the country. MIDA has actively collaborated with METI, all supporting government bodies and the private sector to ensure continuity in investments by new and existing investors throughout 2021 in efforts to sustain Malaysia's position as a global value chain player for key economic sectors, MIDA has proactively strategized initiatives supported with valuable industry feedback to assist the government and relevant authorities during the MCO to identify and alleviate the negative impact of operational restrictions. We have worked closely with the Minister of Finance, Economic Planning Unit, and the Economic Action Council to put in place the Economic Recovery Plan to ensure business continuity and boost investors' confidence in Malaysia. Moving forward, MIDA will continue to work on strengthening the ecosystem for investment, including the development of talents and digital accessibility, and to provide an operating environment that investors can rely on to grow both their businesses and revenues. The challenges presented by the COVID-19 pandemic, a large shift in the business landscape has taken place, specifically in the growing reliance on technology for efficient business delivery. MIDA has enhanced its focus on attracting and facilitating sustainable investment projects into Malaysia, guided by the National Investment Aspirations NIA, that is rooted in the essence of the Shared Prosperity Vision SPV 2030. We strive to position Malaysia as a holistic ecosystem to support the adoption and adaption of Industry 4.0 and green technology by industry and services companies. This is aimed to accelerate productivity, cost efficiency, innovation ability, drive development of local technology and high skill and knowledge workers. For our virtual guests who are still with us, thank you. We have just concluded the press conference. Our distinguished guests and members of the media are now making their way to the next venue space, the Banquet Hall, to view the quality projects showcase. Thank you.
distinguished virtual guests. On behalf of Maida, I thank you for being part of this event. I wish you all the best and hope to see you at our next event. I take this opportunity to congratulate Malaysia for its outstanding 2021's investment performance. You may still explore and leverage this virtual platform as there are still lots of information that will be beneficial to you and to your organization. This virtual platform will be available until 8th April 2022. Following that, all information can be obtained from the MIDA official website, www.mida.gov.my. For any further queries, feel free to reach out to amc2022 at mida.gov.my. Take care and stay safe.